Local news now. Providence Mayor Lorza calling for the principal at Nathaniel Green Middle School to be fired for the way the school responded to an incident there last week. And this comes after a separate case of vandalism was found in the school yesterday. Kate Walsh is with us now. She's got an update on what administrators are saying and what parents have planned today. Yeah, well, behind us here at Nathaniel Green Middle School outside, uh, we're seeing about half a dozen parents standing with signs at the corner as cars drive by, some cars honking their horns. We spoke with one of the parents over there a little bit earlier. They're holding signs asking that the principal resign, saying that these people here running the school need to be held accountable, as do the uh, school officials running the Department of Education after an incident last Thursday. Which was the topic of discussion at a Zoom last night? I'm sorry. Please, please don't, please don't mute me. This is no, this is no. the purpose of this meeting. So that was Mayor Jorge Alorza calling for the principal here, Dr. Dimitri Sermons, to resign after he says the school leaders never called Providence police directly when an administrator suspected seeing a gun passed between students as they were leaving the cafeteria last Thursday. Officials were reviewing the surveillance video to see if a fight had occurred, and that's when the object was reportedly spotted. 12 News obtained a Providence police memo from the day after the incident that says the only reason police finally arrived at the school over an hour later was because the principal called the school district administrator who happened to be with officers at another school at the time. Now, no gun was found, but a gun was found at the school back in April. It was unloaded. 12 News asked Superintendent Dr. Javier Montañez if he thought anything went wrong. I want to say uh, there's always room for improvement, but I want to make sure that, you know, we understand that we're always thinking about safety first. An hour and 15 minutes went from the time they determined that there might be a gun in the school to when anything was done about it. We've seen several police cruisers parked outside the school this morning, officers out walking around, and other cruisers circling the school as these parents are standing on the corner, other parents dropping off students, and school buses lining the street out front here as teachers arrive as well. And in the next half hour, you'll hear from one of the moms who's standing at the corner and what she had to say today. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. So the mayor of Providence, Jorge Alorza, calling for the principal of Nathaniel Green Middle School to be fired for his response to an incident at the school last Thursday. So an administrator reported seeing what looked like a gun being passed between students on surveillance video, yet police were never directly called to that school. Kate Walsh is live outside of that school in Providence with an update for us. Kate? Well, just about five minutes ago, a handful of parents who were standing behind us outside Nathaniel Green Middle School left. They had been holding signs during student drop off this morning to get attention from people driving by this busy area. One of the signs said, Silence is violence, resign now. A mother telling me that she wanted the principal here to resign. And Mayor Jorge Alorza has asked that he be fired. This all comes after a Zoom meeting last night about an incident last Thursday. The the disturbing thing is the officers on scene out in the uh, outer portion of the school did not have any information what was going on inside the school. That's Providence Police Colonel Hugh Clement speaking in the Zoom between parents, police, and state and city leaders last night. When an administrator thought they saw a gun on surveillance video shortly after lunchtime last Thursday, the school was placed on lockdown. But a police memo obtained by Target 12 reveals police were never actually called directly to the school. Instead, the principal called a top administrator who was at another city school and happened to be with officers who then made their way over. Mayor Alorza said amidst everything going on across the country and the fact an unloaded gun was found at the school a month prior, there's no excuse for that, and is calling on the principal, Dr. Dimitri Sermons, to be fired. Now, no gun was found in last Thursday's incident, but one of the moms standing outside here this morning said this: "This is this is not a safe environment for kids to come to school. My son tells me he doesn't feel safe coming to school, and if this was any other setting, I would be a bad parent for sending my child somewhere where they don't feel safe. But because this is school, I am supposed to send my child here." Um, and it's time for us parents to really stand up and say, these are our kids um, and we're going to keep them safe.
Yeah, we believe we saw the superintendent, Dr. Javier Montañez, outside the school this morning as well, speaking with students and faculty. Now, he told us yesterday that the school was placed on lockdown, he understands, in last Thursday's incident out of precaution as administrators looked into what exactly they believe was going on. He said administrators were also busy because it was nearing dismissal time, and they wanted to make sure that no fights broke out because that had been a concern in the weeks leading up to the incident. Live in Providence this morning, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.